The Soviet T-54 and T-55 are the most mass-produced tanks in history, with the T-54 first entering service in the late 1940s. While initially fielding full-caliber armor-piercing rounds, more potent ammunition became available later, including armor-piercing discarding Sabo and high-explosive anti-tank projectiles. In the early 1970s armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo projectiles were produced for the 100mm cannon, which were similar in design to those used by the T-62 and T-64. These steel long rod projectiles, with a tungsten carbide slug at the tip, offered similar performance to the 3BM-8 PDS projectile but managed to do so while using significantly less tungsten. However, 100mm APFSDS projectiles would have struggled to deal with the frontal armor of the more modern NATO tanks of the time, such as the M60A1 and Chieftain. On the other hand, such threats could effectively be dealt with by the 115 and 125mm smoothbore cannons of the T62 and T64, respectively. Throughout its service, there were many T-55 variants, with some later ones including the incorporation of an active protection system and another with the addition of a composite armor package. 